Here we go, Alicia Fox on the move. Leg sweep. Nicely done. Drop kick. Oh, great height. Big time impact from way up high. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. What a stomp! Good grief! Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. WWE has done many successful tours of India over the years, but the first ever Indian wrestler to main event a show in his homeland came when Jinder Mahal faced Triple H in the biggest indoor arena in India. Irish whip! What impact by the modern-day Maharaja. Got the oh, oh, my goodness, crushing it. Going back to Michael's mention of Jinder's main event match in India, he had just come off of losing the WWE Championship and returned home with something to prove. That night, the modern-day Maharaja took the game to his limit. Well, I'm normally the first guy to mock a loser, but the modern-day Maharaja's performance that night earned Triple H's respect. In fact, the game said it was an honor to share the ring with Mahal. Oh, my goodness, crushing it! Setting up for it. This might be it. Oh, my. A knee drop. Oh, nasty impact. Axe handle finds its target. There may be no greater transformation in WWE history than Jinder Mahal's return and metamorphosis into the modern-day Maharaja, winning the WWE Championship in the process. Things starting to go the other way for her. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Michael, going back to Jinder Mahal's growth, he improved greatly over his first run with WWE, but he still lacked a spark when he returned to 2016 as the man who comes in peace. Yeah, but 2017 was truly transformative. Luckily, he ditched that peaceful shtick, won the WWE Championship, and had probably the best year of any WWE superstar in 2017. The reversal by Alicia Fox. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Now Apollo Crews is the legal man. Oh, 
In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. Alicia Fox has eyes to finish. Ooh, what impact. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. And she kicks at it, too. Now, it's not time for Cruz to meet defeat just yet. We're looking at complete domination here. There it is, Foxy putting those long legs to good use. Victory is on the horizon. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a... One, two, three, they got it. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here are your winners, Alicia Fox and Jinder Mahal. And there's your winner via pinfall. Well, when you put women like these together, what do you expect to happen? Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.